Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I just got back from a run. Um, I, I've been seeing bees a lot, okay, on television, outside, um, and then my dad decided to watch The Beekeeper today. I don't know if it's The Beekeeper or Beekeeper, but that could mean something for someone. The bee, I put the spiritual meaning of the bee on my community tab. Um, and then also I was getting like that social media, okay? I was getting that social media. I didn't hear what social media, but social media in general, okay? Multiple social media sites are getting like paid a certain amount to be able to oppress whistlebro whistleblowers. I'm still trying to catch my breath. Whistleblowers, okay, so tarot readers, doctors who are actually um, emphasizing healthy and what's actually healthy for you, okay. I was I was on the TV. I'm not gonna say what what um, what I was watching in particular. The I don't know what you call it. The the name of the network that I was watching, but um, total bullshit on there, okay, about what's healthy for you and what's not healthy for you, and they're lying, okay, and that is a part of this, like, entire, um, scam with pharmacies and stuff like that, <laughs> and then I was also getting food scientists as well, um, something about food scientists, They want you to be unhealthy, okay? So that you go to the doctors who then prescribe the problem at hand and never get down to the root issue, okay? Which is mostly diet. It's mostly diet, okay? They'll tell you to eat lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grains, which is then gonna make you more sick. Tell you to lower your cholesterol or some shit, right? I'm no professional. Um, but I had a lot of autoimmune disorders that led to depression, anxiety, and a bunch of other things that I cured on my own by just eating red meat, salt, and water. Okay? Cream. But that's it. Butter, real butter, not plant butter, not vegetable, seed oil, nothing like that. Right? Just animal products. And I've cured my anxiety and I've cured my depression. Okay? just by diet anyone can do it um but then I was watching this thing on this this series on this I don't even know what you call it this network that was saying absolute garbage okay there's some doctors that I follow on my page okay that are really good doctors to be following There's people curing their diabetes by going, changing their diet, right? Researching themselves, obviously, do your own research and then implement the diet. It's hard. I remember when I first stopped eating sugar, I was like craving sugar bad. It was worse than any other drug that I ever got off of, okay? Um, and I've gotten off almost all of them due to the me suffering from depression and anxiety for my the entirety of my life I thought I would suffer with that for the rest of my life and here I am without it the beekeeper Maybe somebody wants to go watch that. Somebody needs to go watch that movie. There might be a message in that movie for you, The Beekeeper. Okay, it's about a bunch of scam artists and fraud. Okay. Face wand. You could be finding a new passion when it comes to your work. Um, 
a new passion. Somebody else's passion for what they do um, has somebody depressed, okay? I'm getting that somebody got frauded. They got scammed. <clears throat> it was a big ordeal. It was a big, big thing. I'm hearing franchise, okay? So... They're all interconnected, okay? They're all interconnected. I'm hearing you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Damn. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. People are depressed about this thing, this, this spark that you have. This new ignited passion. They're depressed about it because they frauded you out. They took control of your money. And this has them conflicted that, oh damn, this might, this person might lay this to rest. Because this, this person is celebrating. People hold this person in high honor. They sing eye to eye and they'll defend this person. This is a great person. They have a great, I'm hearing work ethic. But not only that, like you're passionate, you're compassionate. Um, you, you're an honorable, noble Okay, just the way that you operate is just very um, honorable. I'm hearing honorable mention. So people are, are mentioning it. Oh, it flipped back. It flipped upside down. Just wait. These people can't lay you to rest. They can't keep you in depression. They can't oppress you. So the next thing is to just try to have other people not be not work with you. Something like that. Somebody gathered to lay you to rest and keep you depressed and they can no longer do that. Okay? It's like you are around a certain... Um, what would it be? social status you're around a certain social status okay and you you like leveled up somehow maybe it's just the mindset or maybe it's your creative endeavors just have you on another level compared to these people so they can't even really migrate around you someone's kind of like a, a lone wolf the their passions come from the creator And these people, they're they're no com they're no competition when it comes to someone who has God in their life, right? It's, there's no competing with that. There's no competing with the greatest power, right? Somebody's like full of love, loving kindness. I'm hearing loving kindness. Wow. They can't have you depressed, okay? God will spark passion into you. They can't lay you to rest. God will show you the way out. Okay? Uh, you'll hit the nail on the head when it comes to your accuracy of your intuition. Um, they can't group up against you because you don't even need to group up with anyone. Like, they can't, like, ha have someone swoop in and try to celebrate with you because you, you're, on, you're on your own with this one. <laughs> you're on your own with this one. <laughs> I heard that. These people are conflicted. By any means necessary, they wanted to do this down here, okay? But like, you hold the truth and you can see behind their mask, man. I'm here masquerade. These lovers. Oh, I knew this, okay? The, my last reading, I was like, Is, wasn't it a snake? Wasn't it a snake that convinced Eve to eat that apple? And here's that, here's that snake. I'm not much of a Bible reader. I, I'm just not. But um, I remember hearing that somewhere. These lovers, they share the same DOC. You see how like the smoke is both coming from, they're sharing that smoke. They, they, they were a match. See how there's like an angel ordaining it? Like, uh, they had, they were a match somehow. They, they, they alchemized each other. Like, they, they attracted each other. That's the word.
These people were working day in and day out, 24 hour surveillance, surveillance, surveillance. Maybe someone stays at a place that has, um, damn, this is fraud. This is fraud. Leaving you out of everything you've ever worked for in life. Working hard at leaving you with nothing. So you have nothing, so you have no resources even. Okay, so that they can tend to swords you, oppress you, so that you wouldn't be able to have any of your money. Any resources that could help you with any sort of shelter even. Do you see how these people are out in the cold? Okay. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but in my story, okay, the cops went to every shelter that I was trying to go to and they didn't allow me in for no reason. Right? This has happened to me in the past where I was left out in the cold, um, literally in 40 below weather, frostbite on the tip of my fingers before somebody was like, I'm not, I'm not stopping until I get you inside, okay? So they'll do this, they'll do this. The cops did it in my situation, okay? Or they'll have you so broke, oppress all of your money until that you can't afford any sort of shelter. It's like, it's, it's, Something about like there is there is a storm warning and um, God will act. If you have God active in your life, he'll act at the right moment, like just in the nick of time, right? So you could drop everything that you've been carrying. These people won't be able to lay you to rest, okay? But they will try, okay? Something like the... Um, It'll just, it, it might, it might get worse before it gets better, okay? Because I still people, see these people out in the cold with this storm here. And people still working hard to have that be the Ten of Swords. Working together in order to Ten of Swords you and create illusions around, around this, okay? To hold the truth back. To watch you. They feel like they have strength, strength in numbers, strength in choices. Like that they'll be able to celebrate what you've made them. They'll be able to hold this, hold this back, maintain holding it back. But you are protected divinely, divinely protected. Yeah, and there's like a surplus of people going through this. It's like a huge, huge fraud here. King of Wands. King of Wands thought he was so hot. <laughs> what? King of Wands thought he was so hot. He thought he was so hot. He's big mad. He's big mad. Like <laughs> like how mad. Okay. He's mad because some sort of magic isn't working. He's like, um, he's like, why am I not in my purpose? It's like you were never in your purpose. What? Something about purpose? Or why are they in their purpose? Why are they still in their purpose? They tried to set it up so that this person would be mentally trapped. <laughs> Cause chaos around this person. Um, backed with magic. It just didn't work. Oh. This person had like a an interest, a male interest, and this is a male. A male with a male interest. They thought that this male suitor was into you, so they did magic to destroy somebody's fate here, but like they just destroyed themselves, honestly. And any of their friends that they got to collaborate um, are a part of this 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 crew who is on the bottom of the wheel here. It just makes so much sense that that a child of God would have this many male haters accumulate in their life, so that they could end up on the bottom of the wheel here. Someone call someone call this fate. 
or karma. For being so toxic. And for taking other people down with them, right? This is like um, um, anger, malice, um, addiction, hatred, obsession, okay? From a young age, okay? From a young age. Sometimes, sometimes the, these entities, these de demonic energies, they're, they're there instantly when we're born, right? Trying to shackle us to them or shackle themselves to us. And it's then up to us to heal that, right? And, and, and do it with light. Somebody, I'm getting like somebody's really angry from like a really young age. Really young. Okay, could be three, five, eight, two, something along young age, okay? Minor, minor energy. And they just feed into it and feed into it and feed into it and feed into it. Like, you know, you know how many people you took down with you? That's the karma, okay? By the hand of God, like the wrath of God for everything that you did and everyone you brought into it, okay, through, throughout your lifetime. I'm, I'm being, lifetimes. And it's never like a, if somebody is going through this and stuff, yeah, keep your distance, lay boundaries, but it's never... You never really go down to like judging them, right? Because what if that was you, right? What if, what if that was you, your last life, okay? What makes you so superior now? They just need to figure out themselves, right? Um, but we don't have to be around that. The Empress. Somebody wants to control what you speak, um, how much you work, how often, how often you, you, um, somebody's an intuitive here. Somebody wants to control how an intuitive speaks, how they get their point across, how they spread their gifts, their positivity, how they spread their positivity. Somebody wants to control that, so they're going to try to oppress you. And how they're going to do that is to have you in lack, okay? And mess with your work, 24-hour surveillance, okay? By any means necessary, okay? This person likes men, okay? <laughs> they just do. And they're going crazy because of a huge backfiring of energy. It's like, um... Why are they still in their purpose? That's what I heard. And somebody's in, they were in a basement. Okay, what I'm getting in my mind's eye is that somebody's in a basement. You're like running through the this dark basement with these dark people with, with entity attachments. Okay, and the same people that they tried to go up against you, you get out. You like, you get out of this basement and this person they get exactly what they wanted, okay? They get exactly what they wanted was like like this male temptress lover, but it's not in the way that they want it, okay? They wanted it like they wanted these males to be obsessed with them and and um, cater to them and, and like be their lover or something like that. But really, these people are going to like force themselves upon them. Okay, so they're getting what they wish for, but in just in a different context, in a wicked way. It's weird. But this, this is the, like actions, this is, it's karma playing out in a weird way because you don't really know what you're getting when you when you play with this dark shit, right? They, they never really knew. They knew the intent they were throwing out and that it was evil and it was towards this empress. But they didn't know how that it was going to come. They didn't, you can never call a backfire, man. <laughs> you just can't. Um, because... Um, I... 
God will surprise you. You hear of miracles, you hear by the grace of God, you hear coincidence, right? These are all words that like people use when when you can't explain things, okay? When it when it is like a like an act of God, when it's like uncomprehendable. Ooh, that's like something creepy that's going on with this guy though. He's weird. Let's move on. You're still in your power. They're mad about this. Big mad. Justice. This is justice. Karma is This is justice. This karma is justice. There's a real shady judge involved here. Crown. Who who maintained this heartache? Okay, they were like um in charge of maintaining some sort of heartache here, pain. Or this judge's pain is bleeding out onto their work. Something to do with fraud. This judge is a part of fraud. Identity theft and fraud. The beekeeper. Something was built on fraudulent. Fraudulent, yes. Fraudulent money, okay? It was funded by fraudulent money. Of this empress and this is why they wanted this person to come in as a third these people to come in as third parties to maintain this heartache so that you'd be stuck in toxicity okay and that they could take your fate this act of god is that that god is going to pour into you empower you in the nick of time okay when it comes to these evils and this will be your justice you may need to have, just have blind faith in this moment blind faith Keep moving forward with positive positivity, um, gratitude, even in, in the worst of situations, being grateful. If you can do that, like that's um, something about noble, honor yourself, your self-love. Okay, no matter what these people think that they're putting you through, no matter um, what they say to you. Okay, because this tower is going to hit and you are protected. They don't do not fear do not fear these people who are behind the scenes are the only people who are going to go through lo loss pain anxiety <clears throat> you will be protected the high priestess judgment these people are trying to cast judgment upon you because you're intuitive, alchemist, damn, because you figured it out, because <laughs> you figured it out, okay, you know, I'm hearing, if you know, you know, if you know, you know, okay, I'm going to read a little bit of the book, I'm going to close it out, and I'll see you guys when I see you. If I do choose to stop reading tarot, I'll tell you, okay? I will tell you if I choose to stop. I'm not at the moment. Um, probably never stop. <laughs> okay. Guilt of succeeding. In a world of so much pain, horror, and misfortune, who are we to have happy, abundant lives? What? I don't like the way that they worded this, but it interests me. This book is The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weist. This is for people who are struggling with self-sabotage, okay? That's the thought process that so many people grow, go through. 
One of the biggest mental barriers people face is the guilt that comes with finally having enough or more than one needs. This can come from many different sources, but it ultimately boils down to feeling as though you don't deserve to have it. This feeling often comes up when we start to earn more money or have nicer things. Often people will sabotage their higher incomes with reckless discretionary spending or by being less vigilant about their clientele or workload because they're not quite comfortable with having more than the basic necessities. So they put themselves back into a comfortable feeling of lack. When it comes to success, guilt is an unfortunate common emotion, especially for good-hearted people who want to do the right thing and live authentic lives. How to solve this? Please recognize that most extremely successful people have no guilt whatsoever. In fact, this feeling usually comes up only when you're stepping between not having enough and finally having enough. When you have when you have to realize that money and success are tools, they buy back time, they buy you back time and offer you opportunity to help, employ, influence, and change the life of others, lives of others. Instead of looking at your success as a status different diff differentiator, differ, differentiator <laughs> which will always make you feel bad and uncomfortable. See it instead as a tool in which you can do important and positive things in the world and own your, and own your own life. I got tongue tied there. Fear of failing. How often do we not even attempt something because we're afraid to look bad? or fail immediately. The fear of failing is often something that holds people back from putting in the work they would need to become, to become truly great. But it can also take another more insidious form. Once we have established something new in our lives, this fear can come up as a constant, irrational worry that we're missing something, that our partner is being unfaithful, or that we're one misstep away from losing it all. These catastrophic thoughts happen when we want to shield ourselves from potential loss. They only come up when we finally have something we care enough about we really want to keep. How to solve this? There's a difference between failing because you're trying something new and daring and failing because you're not showing up, doing the work, or being responsible for your actions. Those are two very different experiences and should be separated in your mind. As scary as it might be to not be great at something initially or perhaps even experience a loss, it is even worse to fail by virtue of never trying and always playing small. Failure is inevitable, but you have to make sure it's happening for the right reasons. Like, did you do it? Did you ask? Did you even take an attempt <laughs> at taking any sort of action past that thought? Or did you just believe what the next person said? who really wants to see you fail, or at least not surpass them. When we fail out of negligence, we take a step back. When we fail because we're attempting new feats, we take one step closer to what will work. Have a good day, people.